Hey, what is up, YouTube? How's it going, everyone? Sparky Marky Mark here, back to do a review and unboxing for a certain watch, of course, but not just any watch. Um, these you can still find them. I mean, it came out no less than about 30 some years ago, say 1990. That would make it 31 years ago. And this particular watch you're about to see is part of the Marine watch known as the Casio AMW 320R A. Dash nine AV. Of course, if you can see it right there, there's a name. And this watch was released sometime around 1990. And anybody who's familiar with this watch, of course, um, if anybody has seen Kindergarten Cop, Arnold Schwarzenegger wore this particular watch in the film. That's right. And and he would later wear a different watch because they released this in th two variations. Believe it or not, folks. Believe it or not. All right, there's one in the black version and then now uh, there's a white version of this one. This one has a white dial. The one you just saw was a gold dial version. And this one's in black dial. So make that three variations, of course, of these watches somewhere around, of course. Anybody's interested in getting, it's around $100, perhaps $80 or so. Heck, if you get lucky on Amazon, you can get this one. Heck, let's see. What is this particular one going for? Oop de doo. Apparently, it's not available. I highly doubt these aren't rare, which <laughs> I could be wrong. Maybe I could be right. I'm not pretty, like, that sure that if these are still around. Heck, $25 US. Wow, not bad. Heck. I mean, they never say anything these being limited. Again, these have been around for many years, and wow. Now it's time to put, now it's time to introduce you to the, to the watch, of course. With that, let me play a little music from 1990. Any of you 90s kids familiar with this music, you should know the name. Here you go. And I got this no less than a decade ago, and back, and this was nearly a hundred dollars. And this is the gold version of this watch. Yeah, I've worn it, but I haven't beat the hell out of this watch. This is the stand how it came came with. Let's see, oh, it's like this. Oh, stopwatch! Gotta stop it. All right, that's it, it's, and it shows you the date. Oh, okay. okay, it shows you the world time. Today's Wednesday, well, it's not Wednesday, I gotta change that. Alarm, and back, and yeah, DL, Daylight Savings, and Stopwatch. I don't even know how to like deactivate it, of course. And then back to your home time, back to your average time. And let's see what's the size of this watch, folks. Let's see what's the size. Let's see the height, folks. Let's see the height. 40.1 millimeters width. Make it 45 with the crown, but around here, this is going to be like 43.3 millimeters. Let's see the height, folks. Let's see the height. Height, 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 height. 11.3 millimeters. Wow, not bad. If anybody knows a wrist size, of course. Let's take a look at the back. Heck, let's take a look at the back. Module 2701. Made in China, but we know this is... Um, the, well, local may say China, but come on, this is a Casio watch, and it's from Japan, of course. And also, I see the be the bezel rotating. Okay, it's rotating, y'all. Listen that, folks. Listen that, all you generations out there.
cool, like a lock safe or combination rotating. Cool rotating bezel. Let's see how it looks on Sparky's wrist. I've worn it. It's not that bad, of course. That's how it looks on Sparky's wrist. Oh, it's been a long time since I've worn this watch. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I dig it. Not bad. And last but not least, it's time to show the illumination on this watch. There's no lighting buttons on these earlier ones. Again, this was right before we heard of electroluminescent backlight from all those days. And I highly doubt there's any existence of the originals. So wow, 1990, what a year. And later, Arnold Schwarzenegger will be wearing the, the, the blacked out version of this watch in the last action hero movie, where he plays the role of an action star character, Jack Slater, in the film, with Austin O'Brien playing the young boy who is a big fan of action films, and it is a great story. So anybody a fan of that movie, let me know down in the comments down below, and other things. Hope everyone had a joyful weekend, though. Heck, I don't even know if this is a, a, the antidote to uh, whatever is going to be happening, of course. Heck, it is January, though. Hmm. Let's see the look of this illumination. Just give me a sec, folks, to make sure it's on the, to make sure you don't go in the dark. Heck. Oh, that's the sec, folks. Let me just leave this in. And how the look of it is, because heck, this is all 31 years old, and heck, maybe I'll bother trying to find a replacement band. Heck, I've worn this watch during my vacation times with my buddies once. No lie, no kidding. This is indeed the great watch ever been made by casting up to that point. Even at the times, of course. So, let's just take a look at it before signing off, y'all. Of course, like I said in my previous video, do like, subscribe to my channel, follow the link, follow the link thing, especially be notified of no all new uploads and all new um, information that's about to be coming out pretty soon. Heck, it's literally hard these days. Heck, even with the new year beginning. So, yeah, wowdy do, y'all. Wowdy, wowdy do. So, yeah, I'm almost there, folks. Heck. Oh, let's take a look. The illumination. So, this is what it looks like, folks. This is the illumination of the Casio Marine Watch. <clears throat> Marine Watch. Sorry, folks, it's my throat. Huh. Yeah, this is the best illumination. There's no, um, buttons to press for illumination again this was 1990 before because apparently there are no micro lights no nothing so i mean really there were there are of course illumination lights it depends if they've been exposed to light or sunlight and, and i gotta say this is not bad illumination it's pretty cool but again no micro lights not even el backlight until the early 90s illuminate casio illuminator got crazier and big and took the airwaves. But nowadays, these are collectibles as well. Plus, this watch that you just seen, this was used also with the two bad guys in Under Siege 2 Dark Territory starring St um, Steven Seagal. But he didn't wear this watch, just to be clear. He did not wear it. So, anyways, this is Sparky Marky Mark hanging with the Casio. Signing off, y'all. See you on the next vid. Take care, and God bless you.